welcome back to Dero Valley. This time, I'm starting off in the shop. Because today, unlike last time, I want to win something. So, my plan was to get old Bob's garage key and to find what's in the barn. I still have 7,000 left, so here's the key. I'm going to put the key in my pocket and I'm going to rob old Bob. Right? Yeah, it was old Bob. For that, I'm going to need a loco. And as we recall, I already had two of them in here. And I'm going to use one of them today for this job. This job is going to require not a whole lot. Doesn't even actually need a locomotive. It's not really a job either. But I want to have one just in case. Oh, it's not just in case. Just want to have one with me. Uh huh. Let's start her up. Everything is already set. Good. Forward. And take the brakes and let's go. Let's not go too much. So where we are going is we are going the way that we were supposed to go all the way here. And then in here. This is where old Bob's garage should be. Like I said in the episode I explained the shops, there are two, lo two main garages located around here, and one of them is here. And I'm 100% sure of that. So that's where we're going now. So let's put on our lights. And give it power. Since we have a long way to travel ahead of us. Now you might be thinking. But aren't you supposed to have cargo with you going there? Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Aren't you a little bit low on cash? Probably. Is this the smartest decision you've made? Probably not. But it's a decision and it's a thing that we're going to do. I think this is more than... This is more than capable of doing whatever I wanted to do. It's not really something that I had planned to do, but seeing the circumstances, me not being able to get out of here and needing to find some type of content for myself, for my channel, not for myself, but just some type of content. And everyone wants to see something happen. And we were not in the most ideal of places. I think I may, I'm making the best out of this. So as we are going through... Slowly. Slowly. But surely. We are going to a 2.2% 2 2 grade again. Or still. So even this way I couldn't have been able to go out because the other way was a 2.2% and this is another 2.2%. I would not have been able to do this. Which is discouraging to say the least, but at least now we know that no matter what... Right, need to get ready. Am I going that way? Alright. I 
that away. 50. I am correct. Fifty five should still be kind of okay. I expect this road to be a little a little tough, but still scenic. All right, it's eighty. Let's hit it. Funny how it doesn't overheat when there's no load behind it. All right, saving gas because we're not rich, not yet. Oh, I love that echo. <laughs> And slow it down because otherwise we will tumble down all the way down there which is not what I want to do not today not today maybe another time when we're stacked and loaded Come on, it's a 60 over there. Ooh, that, those were extra spicy sounds. <laughs> Gotta be careful a little bit. Too bad these windows don't open, right? But at least... Put that map there. Good, now I can see where I'm going. And where I am. And where I've been. Already did that much? Oh, that went quick. That's great. Also, I just realized this is still our first or second? No, second loco. Right? No, it's a uh, third. Because the one that was coupled to the back of this one was the second one. So we're moving up in the world. I'll try to keep it around or at 60, between 50 and 60. Oh, that was an 80 zone. And there's a 60 zone and it's going to go down even more. One of the comments told me that that red arrow down shows me that it's going to go down by 20 or more. And there it is, more than 20 down. can do a little bit more than this. A little bit. Oh, it doesn't really look steep, if you ask me, but... I don't know, I'm not whipping anything around right now. But it's the big corner. So we're going all the way around this lake. It's a nice lake. Would have been better if it was daytime though. But oh well. You know, the funny thing is in games... Daytime usually always takes so much longer. Or takes. Nighttime takes always so much longer than daytime. It does. It really does. Keep it on. 
there's I often find myself in times that it's when I'm about to go and record and it's already nighttime or it's just getting nighttime or I just have to wait through a time that because it's almost getting nighttime and then halfway during my job it will be nighttime fully and then we're doing everything in the dark so then I'm skipping around or usually when I just wake up at the beginning of the recording you know at the beginning of the video and then we I just wake up from whatever slumber I had to do because I've been put on a night shift for for forever every time that I've tried to do it I'm going into a night time and maybe it's because I always record try to record going in daytime but it's not just this game then back in the days when before I started doing derail valley and before I had my couple years break of of sorts uh, even then you know every time I wanted to record something the whole game that I wanted to record nighttime every time every time and this is a testament of it nighttime again not that I'm complaining about a day and night cycle I mean I do love the fact that they added that in the last update I mean it's really pretty It's really pretty, but uh, it also sometimes gets the upper hand, you know? And it seems that it's more nighttime than daytime. I think I'm able to go 60 again. Oh, uh, 80 even, so let's go. Why'd you have to fall over like that? Why? Oh, just stay there. Now I know when there's a, car a corner coming up. Not for a long time. Oh, 1.1% grade. It looks like it's going down this time, so... It's perks! Positives. It's an 80. We're almost going 80. Don't climb even more. I know I'm probably burning the brakes right now, but... It's better than derailing. Huh, that's not a too bad sound, for now. going into a 70. <laughs> oh wait, what what was that? Just to be sure, I'm going to slow it down a lot more. 50, we're going straight through it looks like. Oh, we're already here? Iron Mine West. Huh. Well, that one quick. All the scraps and stuff. Nice. Excavators. They really made it a... One day, my friend, one day. They really made it a real industry already. Slow it down a whole lot. Oh, we're almost coming up to the turn already. We're going through this turn. And there's one. 
All right, there's one going that way. We need to have towards the machine factory. I actually wonder what's here. Want to go exploring later? Let's let's go exploring. Why did it look like there was a guy over there? Ah yes, we're turning the right way. It's a flat surface and we're almost there, so get the brakes ready. This is the garage that we need. Here is the garage. I think, was it a garage? Let's just say it's a garage. Start the brakes. Let's keep it going a little bit. Oh, wait. Let's uh, let let's go back a little bit. Let's put it on that track because I don't know whatever I well, I do know what whatever is in there, but let's just put it there, just to be sure, just to give myself a little space. We're here. Let's just be safe. Looks like some... Even feels like someone is about to hit me over the head, you know? Alright, let's go. Check this out. I do see something covered. We look inside. And it, someone just turned on, oh, it looked like someone just turned on the lights. All right, uh, I'm gonna put this one here so that we can see. That's the key. <laughs> it's an old fashioned Hand cart. That's fast. Even, even for a hand cart like this, but it's fun though. It is fun. 
Are we going to leave this one here? So it won't end up with a dead battery. I'm just gonna leave it here. We're going to take this one exploring. Actually quite fast. Now I'm doing it with a mouse wheel. But you can also do it with anything else if you want. And there's the there's the hand gestures, mouse movements, and there used to be like two buttons. I think you could press, but I th I find the easiest is with the mouse wheel. Just and if you want to stop, then. There's your brake. I'm just gonna keep that one over there because I don't really trust this place. At night, during the night. All right, so there was, there was this outcrop over here that I wanted to go explore. So that's where I'm going now. Just for any future training experience. I don't want to be stuck somewhere. Probably about to derail. <laughs> um, why does it have to go and rain right now? Why? to follow the motions of the of the push bar with your mouse wheel so if it's going up down 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 it's tricky though getting into the rhythm at first but when you're finally in the in the rhythm I wonder can this can this thing re derail can it Oh, we're almost there already. Uh, up, down, up, down. Now this would be a really bad time to derail for that thing. So we're going that way. Line to switch the other way. Down. Now this is where I'm going to kill myself. Because this is that... Unknown place where I'm headed. Oh, 
Oh, it's just the end of track. And that's it. Really? Is that it? This isn't really it. There's nothing, no secrets, no Easter eggs, no nothing. It's just a wet mess. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Oh, that sucks. So I left a loco here, and then my push cart's over here, and then I don't know what what kind of locomotive party they left over here. But looks like they're all having a great old time. I still want to explore this a little bit more later on in the series because yes I can fast travel but no I don't have no I don't have the money not currently or I do have the money but not for that work train oh, I can request a hand car whenever I feel like it oh that's nice hello Three rail clear. Oh, no need to clear. Oh, that does a lot. No. Anyways, let's get going. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, faster! So I can re -rail, derail this. Nice! Good to know. And it's even free to, to re-rail it. That's epic. So this is going to be our fast travel... going to be our replacement for fast travel. Alright. We have reached our destination. Let's stop it here. Because I'm not going to be able to smack it into anything. Let's remove. So that it will not be in my way. I could call it them anytime. Right? Wait, find a rail. A rail. Car train and car. Or nothing. Alright. No, I don't want to confirm. Right. Let's find the station and see what's what's up on the board for us for the next time. That's the station. I could have also done this for fast travel, but then my finger will get sore. Not that scrolling up and down and up and down and up and down will not get my finger sore, but you get the gist of it. One drop off. There's not a lot going on here. Goods factory, food factory. Not going to take that one. Just came from there. 
It's not an ideal location. A freight hall going to Harbor in Town with the tractor. What does the harbor and town have to do with tractors? Now there's cars. Oh, wait, it's still tractors. All right. To the farm. Huh. We can do both of these next time. This one's 18 grand. Nice. And this one's only six. So then we go from here, going over here, and we pass the farm. And we can drop off that one. And then we can continue to the harbor and town. I think that's going to be our next run. But not in this episode, because this episode, almost 5 a.m. Looks like 5 a.m., yeah. Why am I terrible at reading this clock? I don't know. But that does it for this episode. I'm going to use the bathroom. Then you guys can stay outside. Goodbye! <laughs>